here welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title we are going to be doing a full drugstore makeup tutorial or a full face of drugstore makeup i realized that i never did like a drugstore makeup tutorial on this channel a long time ago i did um like a drugstore versus high end but honestly it was like a mess i'll still link it so one you guys can see the difference of like my video quality and the way that i look and stuff from back then but also just like it was a mess i was like using the same brush for like each side it was just like a mess but in today's video we're gonna do everything on the face as drugstore honestly don't think that i did but if i did then like my bad but yeah i guess if you guys want to see my full face of drugstore makeup then just keep on watching so i already did my eyebrow now we're gonna start with like priming the eyes we're gonna do eyeshadow and all that good stuff listen i know the trend going around or what everybody is like liking now is like skin like makeup or like lower coverage makeup but honestly that's not really me i'm not good at that not only am i not good at it i don't like it like i like to be able to tell that i have makeup on um so we're gonna do eyeshadow today as well but also i kind of want people like who use drugstore makeup to know that there's like an option not just for like a natural beat but also for full coverage if that makes sense um so we're gonna do be doing eyeshadow and all that good stuff so yeah first i'm gonna prime my eyes with the makeup revolution conceal and define infinite concealer in the shade c10 i love this concealer so much even when it's not like just a drugstore type of day i love it i just feel like it's a top tier concealer for the price and i think this concealer is six dollars so period it's just top tier honestly I always get it under my eyes, but it's fine. Look at my rings. I got these from Shein. <laughs> Period. Okay. Um. So now for eyeshadow, we are going to be using the NYX Modern Dreamer Palette. This is actually my first time using this palette. Um. I got it for free when I ordered like a bunch, not a bunch. I think it was like twenty-five or thirty dollars worth of NYX stuff online. I'll be using some of that stuff that I ordered layer for skin but yeah we're just going to use this modern dreamer palette and like i said we're going to do some eyeshadow because i want people to know like you can still do a beat a full glam beat with drugstore um i'm thinking i want to do something colorful also because i haven't been feeling the best i've just been feeling really down you know those days when it's like just really hard to like exist i feel like i've been dealing with that recently um also i haven't been posting on my schedule i'm going to get back into i promise this is when we're getting back into schedule posting mondays fridays we're not missing days i've just been feeling really like depressed and all that stuff um and like i was saying before also like i don't know i just feel sometimes discouraged because like i was saying especially nowadays the like thing that's going on is like low-key makeup and that's not me and also my channel is not really growing that much i mean i did get a few new subscribers so i'm happy about that but yeah, I don't know, I just get discouraged sometimes, but it's something that I love doing. So we're going to get back to posting on schedule and period. Um, So I don't even know why I said that. Oh, yeah, that's why we're doing colorful eyeshadow to brighten up my mood a little bit because I've been feeling a little bit down. I think we're going to do super colorful extra. So anyways, we're using the NYX Modern Dreamer Palette. And I do not know how much this is. I honestly think it was like 25 or 30. I'll put it on the screen, Um, which is kind of expensive for a drugstore but there is so many shadows in this so that's why there's 40 and they're also like different textures so yeah <laughs> also the brushes and beauty sponges that i'm using are not drugstore maybe i'll do like another video like using drugstore brushes that would be a cool idea because sometimes it's harder to do your makeup with cheaper brushes so maybe if you find good like cheaper art alternatives then not saying anybody's makeup is bad but like i remember i used to use like generic brushes and i stand by what i said about generic flat brushes 
being some of the best like I love generic flat brushes but the blending brushes can be a little bit like ugh, especially compared to like Morphe and all those other ones so maybe I'll try to do like a drugstore brushes and try to find good dupes good ones to make your makeup look really good so anyways they look like they're so bright and nice so first we're gonna take they're all like numbered so we're gonna take this pink color right here oh it looks pretty good on the brush so far so we're gonna take that tap that off and we're just gonna start blending it on the outer half of the eye pigmentation is good so far one well not one dip but a few dips and i'm tapping it off it seems to be pretty pigmented in my opinion and really nice it's a little bit harder to blend than some of the other shadows it's still blending good and it's a little bit harder to blend than some other shadows that i have like high end ones but it's still blending just make sure you go in with a light hand and tap it off so it's just not like a blob of color okay and i'm gonna take the morphe m330 brush and i'm gonna take the color under that which is like a darker pink but also a little bit like mauve um and we're gonna put that under that color in the same spot but under that color a little bit just to darken this up a little bit yeah i'm liking this eyeshadow palette a lot i feel like the colors are super pigmented i'm literally like tapping into it once and colors showing up like okay next we see you out here doing it period <laughs> so we're gonna do kind of like a pink and then i think orange and yellow like i said it's gonna be very intense so i love blending out colors with yellow so i'm just gonna take a little bit of that yellow blend it out also i like to see what the yellows look like because it's one of my favorite colors in palette Ooh, that's so nice okay period i love this palette that yellow is so bright and nice you see how it kind of like blends nicely and creates that beautiful blend this is going to be kind of like a tropical eye look um so yeah okay now we're going to take that orange by the way guys if i usually use the same brush i just i just get like a dry brush cleaner or i'll use alcohol because it dries quickly um and just like do 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 do, do. so if y'all see me using the same brush i don't have several of meeting deja vu because i feel like i said this before i don't have several of the same brushes i just be using the same one with a brush cleaner so now we're going to take that orange next to the yellow tap it off and put it in the middle Okay, now I'm super excited for the yellow because, like I said, I love yellow and I want to see how it applies with just like a flat brush. So I'm going to take that I'm going to take the yellow and put it on the inside. So I feel like the matte shadows are definitely best with a blending brush. I mean, usually that's how it goes. Um, Cause like that looks pigmented but i'm gonna need to layer it to get the pigment that i want which is absolutely fine like i'm used to that um but the blend is exquisite so i don't mind having to um keep applying it on the lid i actually think this is really cute it kind of reminds me of like fire and it's just very like tropical and like i am digging it the yellow is kind of doing this weird like not weird it's just like not as pigmented and then if i would like keep uh, blending it'll just like disappear completely um so i'm just gonna leave it as it is as i add more i'm gonna add more on top and then i'm gonna leave it because i don't want it to disappear into the creases of my eyes because that's kind of what's happening 
Now that the eyes are done, we're just going to add a little bit of liner. This is basically just to conceal the lash band when we put on lashes. Um, and we're going to be using the Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I don't know how much it is. Like I said, again, if I don't say it flat out, it's going to be on the screen. I just know the price of the concealer because I think it's an amazing deal and I get it every like once in a while. But I've had this for a long time, so I'll put the price on the screen. Um, but yeah, it's Maybelline and the shade is in Black is Black. I love this eyeliner so much. Also, I kind of like the like contrast, a uh, like dark lash line gives. See, you see the difference? I don't know why. I just love the look of like this. <laughs> okay, so after that's done, now we're gonna move on to face. Before I did my eyebrows, I like to spray like a prep and prime spray, like you know Mac or whatever, but. Since this is drugstore, I use the NYX Bear With Me with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Um, and that's pretty nice. I feel like I really like the texture it gave my skin. It's a very fine mist, so we're also going to use this later for setting. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I put this on first. So now we're going to use another primer, which we're going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. Ooh, I like the texture of this a lot it kind of reminds me of the um one the the nyx primer and also the what's the one that's like silicone it just feels so smooth and now just for some extra shine under my foundation this already looks pretty good we're just gonna take half a pump of this makeup revolution glass skin primer you guys know i love this primer because it makes everything look nice and hydrated. Okay, now we're going to move on to foundation. And I like to mix these two, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. Y'all know this. Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 334 of Warm Sun. And then I'm going to mix it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 111. And then I'm also going to add a little dab of the NYX Gotcha Coverage Concealer in the shade Mocha. Just to like darken it up because... This does look a little bit light for me, especially after I add like concealer under my eyes and all that good stuff and I just don't want to look like a ghost. So yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to concealer and we're just gonna we're going to be using the same concealer that I used for priming my eyes, which is the the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. And I will not be doing cream bronzing, cream contouring because I don't have any drugstore ones and I'm not trying to cheat. So we'll just put on bronzer after like a powder because I do have a powder one. And for right now, we're just going to put on some highlighter or some liquid illuminator. And this one is the LA Colors Illuminating Skin Enhancer um, in the shade Sun Goddess. So we're just going to take some of these drops, put it on the back of my hand. And on a sponge, just go ahead and put it on my cheekbone just for some extra illumination. Because look, I'm not the biggest fan of powder highlighter recently but there's nothing better than some illumination on the skin like literally nothing better i used it like a matte skin but now i want it to look like glass and now we're gonna take this sleek blush palette in the shade pink lemonade and we're gonna take the cream blush in the middle we're gonna dip the sponge in it and just put that on the same place where we put the illuminator okay now we're gonna put on a setting spray because I do setting spray after the layer of makeup so I said this in another video but cream products setting spray powder products 
setting spray you know what i'm saying um so we're gonna do that i'm gonna put on glasses because i don't want to put on setting spray on my eyeshadow i just like it to be on the face so we're gonna spray okay now we're gonna put on powder and we're going to be using the uh makeup revolution luxury baking powder i usually use just the luxury powder in banana but we're going to use the baking powder to see what like the difference is i don't really bake i kind of just like set it for bronzer we're going to use i do quotations because this is actually a full coverage powder foundation um but anyways we're going to use the maybelline super stay full coverage powder foundation in the shade java as bronzer okay and now for powder blush we're going to just take that same sleek palette that we used and we're going to take both of the powder ones they're a little bit shimmery but that's okay because sometimes i like a little shimmer blush since i don't do highlighter and i like to do a little intense nose highlight cupid's bow under eyebrow um but i don't really have a drugstore powder highlight because like i said i'm not even really feeling it, all, feeling it all like that so i'm just gonna take the eyeshadow palette that we were using and I'm gonna take this really pretty gold shimmer shade right there. It's literally giving me such trophy white vibes. So now we're gonna do the under eye before we put on the last little bit of setting spray. So we're basically just gonna take the same exact colors from the top, but put it on the bottom in the same spots, if that makes sense. So like pink, orange, yellow. Okay, so I put on my lashes off camera. I don't remember what they are, but I do remember I stacked two of the lashes from the Ardell Faves lookbook. I honestly don't really know if Ardell is technically a drugstore brand. Um, but yeah, my under eye mascara in the top, because I feel like it looks really good. I used the Revlon Volumazing. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, and black is black. And I really liked this. Um, so now we're going to do lips and you guys already know we're going to be using NYX um so we're going to take the NYX liquid soy lipstick in the shade downtown beauty we're just going to line my lips with this and then I'm going to dry that with the fan because I really want it to stay on the outer line of the lips and with my lips um and my lips are pretty small so if I like them together you know what i mean like how you do when you put on lip gloss then it's just gonna get all over because i have tiny lips now we're gonna take the concealer that we've been using this whole video we're just gonna put it on a brush okay guys this is gonna be a trust the process look so just give me a second <laughs> okay my little babies this is the finished drugstore look i literally feel like i look so good like everything about this is just like chef's kiss the skin the eyes like everything see i feel like this is a great example of you can do a full beat of whatever with drugstore makeup like you don't have to buy expensive makeup and next time not like next video but next time i do a drugstore related video it's gonna be tools so it's gonna be like sponges and brushes because we need to know if you can get a full face with the tools and stuff like that so yeah i feel like this looks just as good if not better than my regular face i use a lot of drugstore products anyways because i'm cheap cheap and also like why spend money on something that's so expensive when you can get the good stuff for cheaper like as you can tell like the proof is in the pudding um but yeah, usually I would like switch it out with like maybe like a Fenty foundation or like something like that. But you know, like I said, this looks just as good if not better. So yeah, we'll do a close up on everything just so you guys can see all the skin, the eyes, everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications to be notified 
every time that I upload, I'm going to be uploading on Mondays and Fridays back to skit, back to strict scheduling, strict posting. We're in this together. Let's try to build this channel like and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to keep up with me when I'm not posting on YouTube, you can follow me on all my other social medias. All that good stuff is in the description box, but it'll also be on the screen right here. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Subscribe. Did I say that already? Guys, I really want to grow this channel. So subscribe. <laughs> Bye.